Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain. Welcome back to the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. This is episode number 104. Today, we're going to be talking about putting assets in your trust. Now, this is a question we get sometimes from clients. Now, we're sitting down, we're talking about putting assets into their trust. And they say, well, if I put my house in the trust and I put my bank accounts in the trust, if I sell that house and get a new one, or if I close that bank account and open a new bank account, do I need to update my trust? Do I need to come in and have you make changes to the trust document? And the answer to that is no. And it has to do with really terminology. When we say put assets in your trust, what we mean is have your assets owned by your trust. For the things that need to be in the trust, they need to be owned by the trust. They're not actually named or listed or written out in the trust document. So think about your trust like a box or a basket. You can put things in a box and you can take things out of a box. You didn't change the box. You just put things in it and took things out. So a trust is gonna be very much the same. The trust document does not list the assets that are owned by it. It has instructions for what to do with the assets that are owned by it. And the way that's determined is not because they're listed in the trust agreement, but because the real estate records in the county show that that real estate is owned in your trust. Your bank records show that those accounts are owned in your trust. So the more accurate terminology is have assets owned by your trust instead of owned in your trust or listed in your trust or in your trust period. So make sure that when you are uh, doing your asset alignment or your funding, you're having the right assets owned in your trust. And if you have any questions about anything about asset alignment or funding or setting up a trust, if you are in Ohio or in Michigan, you can reach out to us. Our contact information is in the show notes. I hope that's helpful for you today, and we will see you again next week. Thanks.